In this video, we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane and the normal line to the graph of the sphere at the point 1, 4, 4. So recall that the formula for the equation of a plane is a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equal to zero. So this is the equation of a plane where a, b, and c are your normal, is your normal vector and x naught, y naught, z naught, that's your point. So this is going to be our x naught, y naught, and our z naught. So in this problem we have this, this sphere. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to set it equal to zero. That's always the first step when you're looking for the tangent plane. So step one is just subtract the 33 always. So subtract that 33. And so now what we have is we have this. This is called a level surface. So we have f of x, y, z equal to zero. So it's the equation of a level surface. And if you remember that the gradient vector is always going to be normal to your level surface, always. So the gradient vector is going to be our a, b, c. Here we have our x naught, y naught, z naught, and so we're good. So again, step one, set it equal to zero, call this big F. Now we're going to write down the gradient of big F. So remember the gradient is the vector of partial derivatives. So the partial derivative with respect to x, well everything else is constant so it would simply be 2x. And then the partial derivative with respect to y, well that's going to be 0, that 0, that 0. So this is going to be 2y. And when you're taking the partial derivative with respect to z, you treat everything else as constant. So 0, 0, 2z, 0, so 2z. Or when you're finding the partial derivative with respect to any variable, you treat all of the other variables as constants. So their derivatives will simply go away. So now we just have to plug in our point. So the gradient at 1, 4, 4. So plugging everything in, it'll be 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 times 4, which is 8. And then 2 times 4, which is also 8. So this is our gradient vector. And this is our ABC. So this is our A, this is our B, and this is our C. All right, so now all we have to do is plug everything into the formula and we should be good to go. So let's see, so A is 2, so we have 2, parentheses, X, and then minus 1, minus 1, parentheses, and then B is 8, so plus 8, parentheses, Y, minus 4, so minus 4, and then plus C, C was 8, so 8, and then z minus 4. So hope you, hopefully you can see that. So this, my friends, would be the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of this sphere. So again, just set it equal to zero, call this piece big F, find your gradient that's always gonna be the normal vector, and then just plug in the numbers and that will be your ABC every single time. And then you just plug everything in. As far as the equations for the normal line, well, this is your normal vector, right? This vector is normal to your sphere. So all you have to do is use the formula. The formula for the symmetric equations is this one. So x minus x naught over a, y minus y naught over b, and z minus z naught over c. So this is the formula for the symmetric equations of the normal line. So you just plug everything in. So you just get x minus 1 over a, which is 2, and then y minus 4 over 8. So y minus 4 over 8. And last but not least, we end up with z minus 4 over 8. So z minus 4 over 8. So this is the equation of the normal line. So you get everything from the gradient vector because it's normal to your level surface. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.